on the origin of species, naturalist Charles Darwin developed the idea of natural selection. In natural selection, stronger animals, which are more adaptive, survive and re reproduce. Beef master breed founder Tom Lasseter uses this very principle in the development of beef masters. That's why they are more fertile, hardy, and productive than other breeds. Ah, uh, yes, the law of the jungle. Getting down to the microscopic world, besides the parasites and diseases, is very interesting to me. From internal parasites like Ostertasia, commonly called brown stomach worms, to extremely deadly pathogens like the BRD complex. Things get real things. Thankfully, these master cattle, due to their genetic makeup, are more tolerant to these invisible enemies in the pastures than the other. Genetically speaking, these master cattle also possess more heterosis or hybrid vigor than other breeds. Dr. Jennifer Thompson of Montana State University says that maximum heterosis is achieved by three breed rotational breeding systems. My beef masters are the ultimate hybrid creation. Thanks to their Hereford, Shorthorn, and Boston Nicosia ancestors, they're almost like a bovine Frankenstein. And all. Additionally, 
I'll collect DNA for parent verification and genomic enhanced EPDs. Genomic enhanced EPDs have an increased accuracy compared to traditional EPDs. All this data is submitted to BBU and the aid of approving the breed in my master herd. So, if you're looking to make the best 2023 models, the optimal features that ever before with efficiency, versatility, docility, and longevity, then use some of my tools. I know that by using some of my tools, we have to improve your beef masters. Hey, good evening. My name is Kendall Goodwin, and I'm from Lake Charles. And for a my speech, I wanted to say that I, it's not been nice. Um, the paper, paper's a little wrinkled. I did not expect to have this opportunity, so bear with me. I also want to say that I'm a rookie, and this is my first year in association. And I've had so much fun in the association. Ring, 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 ring. Hi, Good in Real Estate. This is Kendall speaking. Why, well, yes, we are listing some small farm ranches. Okay, so you're retiring and you're wanting to get out of the city and buy some beef master cattle. Okay, so I tell you what, let's start with the cattle. Buying land is easy. But picking the right breed of cattle is challenging. But please allow me to share my first and only choice, and that is the Beefmaster breed. Beefmasters are known for these six essentials. The first essential is weight. Marketing cattle, you're either selling by the head or selling by the pound. There are many opportunities to market your calves in sales, such as replacement heifer sales or special graded bull sales. Thanks to the help of the Beefmaster Association, and social media, it is now easier than ever to market your animals. Other options would be to retain ownership by sending your cattle through the feed yard or selling them to the local sale barn. But no matter what, feed master cattle match the sales with their higher average daily gains. Our next essential is conformation. Conformation means feed master cattle have the look. They're long bodied, moderate and tight, and deep sided. This helps to ensure that they are easy fleshing and have an ample body to convert grass into plant pounds and plenty of room to carry a calf. Beef masters can strut it out on the beef industry's best set of feet and legs. The next essential is milk production. Beef master cattle is made up of a breed of three breeds. Herper and shorthorns are two breeds that complement each other, ensuring good other quality and lots of milk, keeping their calves. IVF programs, which means that they are fertile murders. Beefmaster bulls have more longevity and ability due to their ability to conceive year after year. But if you just want to keep them and use a herbicide, well rest assured they will conceive each year. Our next essential is hardiness. The third breed that was used to establish the Beefmaster breed is Brahmins or Bremers depending on what side of the Red River you're on. Because of this, Beefmasters can thrive South Florida to West Texas to the Panhandles of Oklahoma and all points in between. They can tolerate bugs, mud, snow, and drought. Now our last essential is disposition. This last essential is why I think this breed is perfect for you. Ain't nobody got time for rodeo or crazy cattle. Beef masters are the most gentlest of breeds, making it easier and pleasure, even for the routine yearly processing or showing them should your grandchildren want to show at the Beef Master Junior National. Outside of these six essentials, the Beef Master Breed Association offers the most friendliest of members with opportunities to mingle at shows, sales, or even this October at Oklahoma City for the annual convention. So you see, no matter what piece of land you buy, Beef Masters will fit. I apologize if I sound partial well, it's because I am moving for Beef Masters. So, how about you and I meet tomorrow to see some listings, and in the meantime, you be studying BeefMasters.org. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Unable to eat my popcorn, sitting on the edge of my seat, my eyes glued to the big screen in amazement of the giant lifelike dinosaurs and you. Do you remember this scene? The opening scene of Jurassic Park. It was a hit. We all sat in amazement of the technology at the time. Thoughts swirling in our heads. Wow, they 
finally figured it out. How did they do it? And how cool is that? Box office hit in 1993, 29 years ago. Now we know these movies spent a lot of creative time demonstrating the crazy that can go wrong when we get ahead of ourselves, and thus the ticket selling thrills that made us scream and jump when the dinosaurs sought after the amusement park attendees as a food source. But let's consider the hype. Is it because we love sci-fi thrillers? Well, of course, but perhaps it's also the thought of bringing something old back to life again is just as thrilling. Jurassic Park brings to mind the concept of cloning and gene editing so clearly to me. There was a zeal to the excitement the scientists carried in the movie. To have figured out how to bring the extinct alive using the state of the art technologies that we were actually already toying with in the real life scientific world. At the time, Jurassic Park was the first movie made, and we were already deeply curious about cloning animals by 1996. Three years after the release of Jurassic Park, Scottish scientists had successfully cloned Dolly the Lamb, and two years later, the first cow was successfully cloned in China. Now, I love my beef masters far more than I ever did the thought of dinosaurs. And as much as I might pay for a ticket to attend a real-life dinosaur theme park in Hawaii, I have thoughts of owning an Oasis clone. She was nearly perfect in design an utter of perfection. Proportion in her length and depth. Cleanest front end of her time. So it made sense to clone her. She was the first well-known Beefmaster clone. Her genetics have been sought after in every sale. Cloning has allowed her legacy to continue on within our breed. Trans Oba just recently shared in a very happy customer who, who cloned her beloved from and her gold. She says that even the personality traits carry over. She was smiling ear to ear with how happy she was with the ease of the process. Transoga has been using cloning technology for 20 years now, and they are quite successful at it. The prices dropped over time as technology has become more user friendly. And for $500, you can start your process with your alive animal to preserve the genetics for the future. Amazing where we have come in just my lifetime. But cloning is not where this stops. Our human curiosities have taken us to even more specific technologies. Scientists can now alter specific traits within the genetic material. This is called genome editing. We have learned that we can simply edit an allele on the DNA chain and make a huge change in a short amount of time, relatively speaking. Previously, changes made within our breeds take time. Selected breeding choices and multiple outcrosses to see the change that we desire. With the current science, we can potentially make the change we are looking for in just one snip of the DNA chain. Now this is incredible science. Almost Jurassic Park sitting on the edge of your seat, thought-provoking science. It won a Nobel Prize in 2020 for its ability to snip out a highly specific section of the DNA sequence and replace it with another. This is called CRISPR. CRISPR technology is being studied internationally in all aspects of life. This technology is mind-blowing and has incredible implications for the good of the world. Disease resistance and even prevention are the focus in many labs. If cattle have been modified to become tuberculosis resistant in China, the gene that causes mad cow disease has been isolated and modified in Europe, potentially changing the safety of the future beef import market. And dairy cattle have become pulled in one relatively cheap and now considered easy way to easy approach to gene editing. But now here in the United States, the Food and Drug Administration recently approved in March this year to allow genetically modified beef safe for food consumption. These particular beef cattle were genetically modified to carry the slip here gene. The company that produced these beef animals stand behind their science team, claiming sustainability as their goal. With heat tolerance in animals, production for the ranchers is higher with less outputs on treating illnesses or death from heat-related causes. Thinking about our beef master cattle and the hurdles we see in our breed, what if gene editing can mean that our issues and desires for our herd could be fixed in one focused laboratory trial. 
You want all red cattle? You can make that happen. Do you prefer all black beef masters in your herd? You got it. All, well, that's already been perfected. Think of all the possibilities. Gene editing and biotechnologies have advanced rapidly even within the last 10 years. And we are sitting on the cusp of the potential awe I saw when I watched Jurassic Park for the first time. We are at a point in our scientific advances that animal that our animal research laboratories look like a modern Jurassic Park. In every part of the amusement park was another modified species that thrilled the dinosaur enthusiasts. Just like we would want our birds modified for generations to come in the color we want without ever having to do another deep warning. The dream is possible and perhaps even more affordable than we think. With gene editing technologies, we have more options in changing the genetic code of our cattle than we can even begin to contemplate. But I leave you to think about something even deeper. The famous line in the original Jurassic Park movie, which was spoken by Malcolm the scientist, which says, your scientists were so preoccupied with whether they could, they never stopped to think 